Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well for today's valued viewer question. You, I guess you're not so f uh, valued because I accidentally deleted your name. My apologies. Hello Cap, uh, G Iron Cap. I don't have you recreated in DCS this, so just a bit dodgy language, but it's saying can you recreate this? Number one is the Gulf of Sidra incident 1981. The second is the second Gulf of Sidra incident, 1989. Now, we've already done the second, the 1989 analysis and reenactment, and I'll link that in the video description if you want to go and see that. What we've not done is the first incident, 1981. So we're going to jump into just general information from Wikipedia and have a look at it and then reenact it. To reiterate, there were two incidents in the Gulf of Sidra regarding, if you like, USA versus Libya. This is 1981, the other was 1989. In the first Gulf of Sidra incident, 19th of August 1981, two Russian-made Libyan Su-22 fitters fired upon and were subsequently shot down by two F-14s off the Libyan coast. Got a background here if you wanted to read it. But on the morning of 19th of August, after having diverted a number of Libyan mock attacks on the battle group the previous day two f4 teams from bf41 black aces fast eagle 102 that's commander henry hank Kleeman and lieutenant david dj vinlay flying that whole number and fast eagle 107 that's uh, lawrence music sorry i can't pronounce that and james luca anderson in hull number that were flying combat air patrol ostensibly to cover aircraft engaged in a missile exercise however U.S. Navy Commander Thompson S. Sanders wrote in Airspace Smithsonian that his S-3A Vikings mission was the real precursor to the incident. Sanders was ordered to fly his Viking in a racetrack orbit inside Gaddafi's claimed zone in the Gulf of Sidra, but outside the internationally recognized 12-mile territorial water limit to try to provoke the Libyans to react. Oops. That was silly. An E2C Hawkeye alerted Sanders that two Sukhoi Su-22 fighters had taken off from that place there, Libya, near to the city of Sirta. The Hawkeye directed the F-14s to intercept while Sanders dived to an altitude of 500 feet, who was in the S-3A, remember, and flew north to evade the Libyan aircraft. An experience Sanders found very stressful because his S-3A was not equipped with a threat warning receiver, or an RWR, nor with any countermeasures, a deficiency later remedied on the S-3B. The two F-14s set up for an intercept as the contacts headed north towards them. Only a few seconds before the crossing, at an estimated distance of 300 metres, one of the Libyans fired an AA-2 Atoll missile at one of the F-14s, which missed. Then the two Sukhois split as they flew past the Americans. The leader turned to the northwest and the wingman turning southeast in the direction of the Libyan coast. The Tomcats evaded the missile and were cleared to return fire by their rules of engagement, which mandated self-defense on the initiation of hostile action. The Tomcats turned hard to port left and came behind the Libyan jets. The Americans fired AIM-9 Lima Sidewinders the first kill is credited to Fast Eagle 102 and the second to Fast Eagle 107. Both Libyan pilots ejected. Prior to the ejections, a US electronic surveillance plane monitoring of the event recorded the lead Libyan pilot returned to his ground controller that he had fired a missile at one of the US fighters and gave no indication that the missile shot was unintended. The US Navy report states that both Libyan pilots ejected and were safely recovered, but in the official audio recording of the incident taken from USS Biddle, one of the F-14 pilots states that he saw a Libyan pilot eject, but his parachute failed to open. Less than an hour later, while the Libyans were conducting a search and rescue operation of their downed pilot, two MiG-25s, if you like the kind of big brother aircraft, entered the airspace over the Gulf, headed towards the US carriers at Mach 1.5 and conducted a mock attack in the direction of USS Nimitz. Two VF-41 Tomcats headed towards the Libyans and were then turned around. The Tomcats turned home, but had to turn around again when the Libyans headed towards the US carrier once more. After being tracked by the F-14's radars, the MiGs finally headed home. One more Libyan formation ventured out into the Gulf towards the US forces that day. Fast Eagle 102 is now on display at the Commemorative Air Force Museum in Midland, Texas. The restored F-14 was unveiled in a ceremony on August 26, 2016. Vice Admiral Dave Venlay cut the first tape. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. 
Fast Eagle 107 was destroyed in an accident on 25th of October 1994. So what we've got here, interestingly, and I was unaware of this, is that a US S3A Viking was sent out as bait to draw the Su-22 fitters out. The Su-22 fitters reacted, were intercepted by F-14s, and as tends to happen, closed a very low distance. Fired a missile, missed, F-14s chased them home and shot them down. On the catapult. KRC, we've just got out of the briefing room. We've just had a call that an S3 has got its trouble, I've got it has got into trouble to the south. It's now being chased by two times Libyan SU-22s. We are to scramble, intercept, and usher them away. So let's get going to save our little Viking friend, our little Nordic friend. Okay, Mr. Yellow Shirt, tell me what to do. I am ready. Hold up, Nelly, ready? Cab ready. Tell me when you're spooling. Spooling. Cab spooling. Tell me when you're launching. I am launching. Yeah. I'm launching. Come in, baby. Flaps up. Gear up. Master arm on. Are we heading south, you said? Yeah, south, please, RC. Get us at uh, Angels okay. 15. And everything warmed up. Okay, on course. Let's get the nose warm. Radar is currently blank. Heading up to Angels 15. Remember, the ROE is return fire only, so no firing till they fire, unfortunately, which is going to be pretty ugly. Still nothing on the radar, which is ever slightly worrying. Okay, the Viking is turning away from the hostiles now. Still nothing on scope, which is pain in the butt. Yeah, I've got something on radar, finally. Okay, hostiles on radar. Cut punching it. It must be close to the Viking now. There's a bandit. 240, 42 miles. 42 miles. Okay, the appear to have lost the Viking, which is good. Okay, intercept course. 40 miles. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah, I guess so. I've got a lot. 36 yes, miles. Yes, Head on now. Miles. All right. All right. Cap holding fire. Okay, co altitude, heading 250, twin ship. Okay, the Viking appears to have escaped, although I don't have it on, didn't have it on scope. I'm going to go below them, hopefully, I can uh, evade detection. Target 26 miles. Up 26 miles. Okay, I'm below them now. I only see one. Do you see two? Yeah, I do. It's definitely a twin ship. 20 miles. Going to Sidewinders.
20 miles on the deck, hooking up. Target, 20 miles. Cap has tally. Target, 14 miles. Okay, Cap's 12 Cap miles now. 17. Okay, moving to maneuver speed. I've also got tow. ROE, hold fire until fired upon. Only tally on one ship, only tally on one ship. I don't know where the other guy's gone. Cap 10 miles. Cap 8 miles, and I still can't see the Target. second ship. Five miles. Which is really worrying. Oh, God, a guy. Something's happened. He's dropped, oh, he's dropped bags, he's dropped bags, tally. And Cap head on right. for a merge. Missile, missile, missile. Missile, missile, missile. Missile. Cap evaded. Cap dogfight, going high. Bogey, SU-17, 12 o'clock. Okay, miles. I'm going over for the one that's just went merged with me. Oh. If you can search for the other one, search for the other one. Yeah, Seven o'clock, roll. Cap over the top. Cap out to fire. 12 o'clock, roll. Shit, get rid of him, he's right behind us. Cap, Fox War 2, miss. Guns, guns, guns. Okay, I'm a dogfight, but I'm pretty secure in his tail. 1 o'clock low. 12 o'clock. Going over the top again. Just, you've got to find that other one. I have a shot. Take it. 11 Take it. Low. 2 o'clock. I'm going high to get out of the way. I'm, going to get, I'm getting out of the way. Ah, the missile missed. Good it's shot. Flash. Right, look for the other one. Look for the other one. Shake him. Coming left. Hostile in my tail. Oh, no, that's you. It's you. Spike, 7 o'clock. Cap Spike, and it's not you. There's 22 out there somewhere. Where the hell has he gone? Where the hell has he gone? Behind you, he's on your 6, he's on your 6. Don't overmaneuver, but he's on your 6. Get ready for evasive, get ready for flares on my call. 11 o'clock. Missile, 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 flare! Dodge. Okay, we're in the fight. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the attack to him. Okay, you're free, you're free, he's heading towards the land. He's going high, he's going high. I'm just going to keep him defensive. Okay. Left high, left high, left high. In front of me. Low. Get ready for flare if I call it. Nine o'clock low. He's low now. Uh, I'm struggling with the big bitch. He's under 12-ish. I've lost him in the mark. Lost him in the mud. Shit. I got him, I got him, he's, he's, uh, he's heading high, he's heading high. Shit, I've lost him. I've lost him. I've got him. Left turn fight. Angel's five. On six. Come on, bitch. Lock. You have him now. Cap, Fox 2. Guns. Guns, guns. Miss or miss? Dog fight. On six. Hit him, smoke him, he's smoking, he's smoking. Shit, I've overshot him. Going up. Three o'clock low. Emerge, can you see me? Look for the smoke. Don't take the shot, don't take the shot. I see him. Is he hit? He's hit. You? Have you got a missile? He's hit. Okay. Yep, I've got him. Okay, I'm backing off. Take the shot. I should be safe. Seven o'clock. You got a lock on me, you got a lock on me. Okay. Twelve o'clock. Yeah, Alright, I'm hanging back. Alright, well. No, it's box. I'm flaring just and, in case. Oh, miss. Okay, let's go for it. Guns, guns, guns. He's slow as shit. Just watch the overspeed. I've locked you. Don't worry about it. It's a friendly. Got him. Hey! Nice. I'm going to watch him down. The bandit is down. Okay. That was a cool little engagement. RTB due north. Expedite before more of these fitters come out.